welcome guys and uh, welcome to my bookcase actually today we will be looking at some bare mineral stuff makeup skincare i got the uh, calendar like uh, christmas calendar with 24 products in it and that's actually what we will be looking at for today and i will try to do like a full look with uh, all the stuff that i got but of course this does nothing to substitute i will use some of my uh, my own products and i'm sorry i'm sitting like with everything in the background but honestly this is pretty embarrassing but this is where i have the best light right now um so that's just what we'll go with and in the future it will be better i hope i really hope um, but right now this is what we have to deal with so of course like always I will put up some pictures because apparently they look better and I will put up some um, who knows maybe a video later yes uh, just a phone check-in to see how everything wore and how it uh, it was feeling how it went so first I think we will go through with like all the products and I'll put a picture up I took a picture of everything that's laying here with sad uh, outside of me outside of me at the side like everything beside me i have a picture of that so i will show you how much we have to deal with and some things i got more of like eyeshadows lip stuff and i can't wear it all so i'll just like wear a couple of them and then switch or put on something else instead so let's just get into this so the first couple of things we will be looking at is skincare and i do have uh, only two skincare products that i won't be using and that is simply because it will like clash with some of the other stuff i have um, been wearing i have been trying out a lot of stuff recently so first off we got a bare mineral gold mask which I hope will be very pretty. I will be like um, putting up, I will be wearing it later, so you will get like a check in of that at that point. But right now, I won't be wearing it simply because I just used the mask recently, uh, as in for 10 like 10 minutes ago. So I think this will be a little too early to go, um, go into this. Then we got this. I don't even know what they call it, Skin Longevity Visual Power Infusion and it says Empower, re Replenish, Renew, Fortify Skin Mimetic Technology so it is used like after cleansing you just pump, pump it, you put it all over your face and your neck and I guess it's going to like revitalize your, your skin, maybe make it I don't even know regenerate regenerates better. I'll just see like if I can actually look this up. Okay, as I can read, like it's a serum that is made to make your um, skin, as it says, like um, empower, replenish, renew, fortify. It's going to strengthen your skin and uh, like replenish it, make it, I guess, easier for stuff to be absorbed like reducing fine lines and so on so I will also be using this, this like um, the next couple of days and then I'll also check in tell you what I think but it isn't for now I just put on something else not that long ago then we got some before and afters we got a bare mineral dew mist it's a setting spray it's very cute uh, of course all I got here was minis because it would be way too expensive for them for a Christmas calendar to of course give full anything so I will be using this afterwards to uh, to put on like I, I'm not that good at mists or setting sprays uh, I kind of forget to use them but I'll try to use it a day, uh, today and we'll see and then we got the primetime original foundation primer and we will be using this actually right now so I will just put this on and then we will get going with the next products. And it's very um, gel-like. Can you see this? It's like very much a gel consistency and I probably used way too much. Okay, I used way too much in that. I feel like it's um, all over my hands. 
but actually it's really nice like I feel like that might be one of the best primers I've ever tried like it was I don't think it I feel like it's the gel consistency that just does it like it's so soft just uh, blends out like silky smooth which I really really love I can't really see like it doesn't say much in these because these are samples so I can't really see much uh, except I apply a thin layer e even layer all over all face it's even layer maybe a bit too much I put on but then allow to dry and then they of course they follow with bare minerals foundation but I didn't get the foundation I only got like a um, where is it I got this radiant tint moisturizer so it's also used like under or over makeup to create a protective veil let's see use it on my hand here and yeah you don't really see it like I think maybe that's because it blends in with my pale hand but I don't really see like anything it's not like it really covers anything um, maybe a bit but not much but it is a moisturizer and it's all, so I guess that's okay. Let me see. So there's no like concealer or anything. So I will just use my own today. And I'm using the um, Maybelline Instant Anti H Eraser because I use that all the time. So first of all, I should probably find my mirror here. Whoa, that's, that's a bit too close. We'll just use it kind of everywhere okay I'm just um I don't really know what to do right now so I think I'll just put my foundation on here because I noticed that we do have a mineral veil for afterwards so I don't really want to put too much like I was going to put powder all over my face but I think I won't now because I do have a powder for later so we will just take my Needle Short Second Skin Serum Foundation, just like bits, and I'll just put it all over my face. Okay, the foundation is called Second Skin, so you won't be able to see like that much of a difference. It's pretty sheer. So I am looking for a new type of foundation, so if you know anyone that's good, like, um, this is very light coverage, I would like some full coverage for all my um, impurities here to go away, then please tell me, I am so curious to find something else. And I think we will go into the next step, I feel like there's so much to look at, so I don't know where to start. And uh, first off, I'll just show you, like, the um, all over face. Powder, power, powder, and it's like you can probably see. Yeah, that's really dark. It is a all-over face color, and I feel like the only way I would be able to use it was like, um, or would be as a kind of bronzer, I guess, because it kind of looks shimmery from here. I'm not going to open it now because I really don't know what what I would use it for. So we will put it aside just um, for now. So I think we'll take the mineral veil now and then go in with some highlighter, bronzer, blush, so on. And this is like the mineral veil. And let me just see here. It is just original mineral veil. Doesn't say much more. So I'd use it like, um, I kind of want to say as a powder, but not really. Uh, but we'll see. And this looks so confusing. Can you see that? Looks like a spaceman doing some stuff. Wait, 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 wait. So you just pop this stuff up. I guess I don't really know what else to do. Ah, I see. So you can like um, pull it out so it doesn't do stuff so that it closed like these there's three holes now it's closed. Or you can open it so that powder can come out, which is I guess meant to be. <laughs> it's like a very soft color, so it kind of is perfect for my very, very pale, fair skin, to say nicely.
that went on nicely it's not too too much again we stay to the um, pale and skin like type today so what do we got next we got the bronzer and we got some highlighter and I think it will be okay to just go straight into the bronzer uh, we'll just do it a bit like it's these sweet containers I really like these they are so pretty and I will just take my stable brush and this is probably so wrong for so many people but I'll just go like a bit into it just still and just a bit up in the temples just to look a bit sun kissed here I will really not do much because I am so pale already so we just go like with the extra that that's actually all because I feel like it does give a bit of depth but because I'm not going full face whoops sorry yeah just come, come down with me let's sit on the floor together even though I have a sofa behind me that's how it is so I won't go in really with much because we don't have much to deal with and it will look way, like way too much if we just go ham with this so I am taking the highlighter with this, which is this pretty 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 one and I'll just go in with my brush here and really not do much like just a small hello to the cheeks and I feel like this is actually this is just enough and it looks so fun because everything is a sheer I just look dead tired still but that's just how it is today you can't conceal that you never slept that's just a joke I actually slept a lot I just feel so tired all the time anyways so we have blush and I'm pretty sure we do have three blushes and I feel like that's kind of overkill maybe we got the blush and the blush uh, called Hints, a very pale pinkish pink. And then we got the color Golden Gate, which is, which is like not really gold, but a bit of a hint of gold and then more reddish orange. And we got the Love Me See Powder Blush Pink Me Up, which is quite more pink than all the others. It's very pink. I think I actually want to use this kind of reddish color just to spice it up a bit instead of just going pale all the way so we take this snip off yep I don't know why I have to smell it do you know that when you just you just have to smell it okay we are going into the blush and let's just get up here again and I'll just take the stipple brush again I don't know why I just don't feel like I have the right brush right now so we do what we can with what we got and honestly I'll just like dab it there that might sound so weird for you but the fact is that we will just use our new we I will use the new blush blush the new brush I got here just to kind of blend everything out is what it's meant to do so that's what we do we'll just create a softer look yep this brush is just huge it's like I think you could use it as a meditative brush just like going all over your face it's really huge and it's just so soft so I think I'll definitely like use it forever if not for products then just for like face massage <laughs> okay we need to we need to get moving I'm way too slow at this I'm so sorry but we have some eyeshadows eye colors are they called and I'll just prime my eyes real quick we got three colors we got the nude beach heart and 
Queen Tiffany and it looks like kind of shimmery pink shimmery brown shimmery what shimmery nude shimmery something and um, we will use this like golden brown again just to keep on with the golden stuff and this will be like a kind of fun look because I will only be using one shadow color it will be just like in the good old days where you didn't know how to do stuff so we just put it all over your lids that's what we're doing oh, it's actually really pretty I guess you can see a bit like it darkened it all a bit but it didn't get it too furious how do you say that word? furiously? I don't know ferocious just shut up and actually I feel like it's okay with just one color once in a while. Depends on what you're going for. So, mascara. And we got two mascaras. We got the Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara and the Lash Topia Mega Volume Mineral Based Mascara. And I remember I've heard about the Lash Topia before. Um, I don't remember what I heard, but I heard something. So if we just start... We'll just take like the lash domination and we'll just see. Maybe I'll use both, who knows. We'll just put this on one first and this wand is kind of fun. Like these, can you see this? They're just swirling. That's kind of fun. We'll just use it already. like a fine mascara I think but I don't, I don't get how you're going to use like that thing are you going to twirl your lashes up to God or what I, okay I don't get this uh, maybe I'm not just uh, smart enough I can like concentrate on whirling and twirling and putting on mascara at the same time but it does look very nice can you guys see that I'll take a picture for you nonetheless so you can see and on the other one I think I'll use both we will use the Lash Tobia on the other uh, just to see how this is that was a funny sound and this is more like a standard one just like prickles everywhere and we'll see okay, so the like this of course you can't see anything but the uh, what was it called lash domination I feel like I like the most simply because it um, does go on very well like helps lift my curl give uh, not like more len length length than milieu but that's just amazing length they get longer but not thicker Okay, great. Moving on. So the other one here is like uh, also give quite some, but I feel like it's just it's kind of clumping together. Like they just don't separate as well as they did with the other one here. Still pretty, still gives some, but not in the same way as the other one does. I definitely like this eye better. Okay, that one again. <laughs> move with me so we are done with all that stuff and we'll be going into lips these were the lip what do you call them the lip um, glasses we got one in rebel and the one other one is 24 karat then you can maybe guess which one is 24 karat gold and which one is rebel and this one I don't even know what's called it's only says spare minerals spare pro and I had to look up like this um, box to even find out like what it was I kind of guessed it was a lipstick but not more than that then we got two mattes right here called boss and swank that's unfortunate um, and we got two here that's called everything 
and Heartbreaker, which are these two. This is everything. And this, this one is Heartbreaker. I think we'll use Bars today because it looks kind of um, neutral, together with a neutral wearing look today. So, it's just like a normal doe foot cute applicator and we'll just get on with it. Nope. Why does this kind of smell like chocolate? This this color, I'll, I'll just show you, I'll take it off as well. So soft though that, like this is r incredible soft. Okay. You guys see that? This is what I call a disaster. It doesn't look so bad in the mirror. In the mirror? In your mirror? It doesn't look as bad as camera. But I just feel like this color just... It's not mine. And it's on my teeth. Well, that's a, that's a formula problem. That's not a um, color problem. But this color is so not mine, I'll just uh, give me a second, maybe I will end up showing all of these to you, who knows? Next one. We will try taking the Swank. This name is just so weird for me. And we will use this instead, this was the other matte color. Um, this is so pretty on the tube though, let's just look. I feel like they are much more brown than they kind of look. Both kind of smell a bit chocolatey. Please look away from that part. That's like my lip is just so dead right now. This is better, but definitely not for the look we're going for. This just looks like a disaster happened. And. Don't get me wrong, like the color is pretty, but for the I got no makeup makeup on look that we apparently ended up doing today, this just looks way too harsh. Like it dries down pretty well, just like the other one I didn't say. It dries down better than when you first apply it, but this isn't going, so we'll be uh, taking it off. Third lip product. Did any of you understand that? Because I, I didn't. I was going to say third lip product. And we will take Heartbreaker. The pinkish. Like, I think three of them. In the tubes, they kind of all look a bit pinkish. But who knows? So we will take Heartbreaker. And let's just see. This is not a matte. Just saying. The, we have used up all the mattes in this collection. The, um, the mats they glided on like very easily they were so pretty just like softly applied this one feels kind of wet kind of like glossy but instead I love the color this color was was more of like what I was going for I'll uh, keep that to the side and then we will just I already tried half of the product product so let's just uh, Move on, take the rest too, so you can see how they look. But we will take this one off. This time we take everything. They still look like some kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of chocolatey in a weird way. Like not good chocolate, weird chocolate. Doesn't look like nothing. This just looks kind of my life, my Kind of like my lips, but glossier. So, yes, but no. Once again, I'm not so fond of glasses, but this one glided off a bit better than the earlier one. Nonetheless, we will take it off. Okay, my lips feel really sticky after that. Okay, my lips feel very weird after, like, everything. This one feels so weird, like, they feel kind of sticky. I don't know, I'm sorry. Let's just, we'll take the lip glosses. We'll like end with the lipstick because I know I love lipstick. So either I'm really happy at the end or I'm really disappointed. 
I would take this lip. What the, f what the f This lip gloss in Rebel. It's on fairly easy. It sits just in my dry cracks. If you have dry lips, don't use this. Like it sits right here. But it smells like mint. I kind of this kind of want to make me eat it. Like I really want to. This smells so good. Well, it's like pretty. It's not really a color. It's like um, I know, just a gloss. That's what a gloss is for. But it kind of sits in the cracks and it smells so delicious. Sorry, I can't concentrate because of the smell. <laughs> Last lip gloss in the 24 carat. 24 carats. This one doesn't smell like uh, mint, but it still smells. Why do they all smell like food or candy somehow? I guess this is meant to be a topper. We're just trying it out. Because. My lips, my lips, my lips just look sparkly. Like I put 24 karat gold foil on my lips. Could be nice as a tubber. Looks like I'm sick or ate something. Still smells really nice though. And with the other stuff here, like it applied really nicely. I forgot to say, like everything just went on pretty smoothly. And I'm excited to see if it will keep on looking at that. Sorry, I was looking at myself. I just saw the glitter. It's not. It, it's not coming off. So um. Yes. Okay. We go for the lipstick just to get this done. What? Did you see anything? So smooth. Like this is really buttery. It's so small that I already smeared lipstick all over. This is really buttery, just glides on. I didn't see anything at first, but it's buildable. And it's very pretty and very subtle. So probably I will end up going for the lipstick. Just like I always end up going for the lipstick. I will do some swatches for you just to show you how they actually look like. But um, else than this, we're kind of done actually, and I'll just... Uh, Use the dew mist we talked about earlier. It has to be shaken, I'm pretty sure. We will shake it. And then we, we will see how stupid I look when I try to do this. See how I didn't hit the first two times? Because I noticed. Okay, a lot is all over. <sighs> a lot is on my face. Do not inhale it. It doesn't taste good. Uh, but actually it also didn't like it didn't really leave watermarks I always feel like you know I'm gonna get wet but it goes away well very quickly so I will see the clock is not many yet so I will see how this ends up looking and I will check in later to tell you how everything is and then I will just put the uh, the lipsticks and the shadows like everything will just be on my arm in a second so you can see it Hello again guys, I am in for today for the last time regarding my face actually and as you can see most of it like um, I know it was kind of see-through from the start but especially like these you could see before but you weren't really able to see like the stuff on my chin or on my cheek but that has become pretty see-through now I do um, or I have been out walking, like I walked to um, the city with my parents. I've been vis visiting them for today, and like it was a 30 minute walk in the cold, so I think some of it might have gotten off from there. Uh, and I have blown my nose, so some of it might have ended up there as well. I'm a bit disappointed, I'm very disappointed with the lipstick though. Because, as you can see, there's nothing on here. As soon as I ate, 
everything was just off. There's nothing left. I'm a bit um, disappointed about it actually, but I would still like to see how the others hold up because some of them were pretty colors, uh, even though some of them felt a bit weird. So I think I'll still try them another day though. But uh, the lipstick, I'm not sure. I might use it, but <laughs> if I know that it'll be gone as soon as I eat, it's a bit bit sad to use it. Um, so I do have a high, like um, quality standard for my lipsticks, and it just it just didn't didn't really meet it. For the um, lashes and the eyeshadows, though, everything is where it's supposed to be. Everything is still nice, actually. The the sparkle is still where it's supposed to be. I only had one color on, as you can see, it's still only one color on. The lashes does look the same. You can still see like a bit of a different where this one is a bit soft. I feel like more of um, this mascara has like fallen off. That was the fiber one, where this one has kind of stuck a bit more. Um, so I think that's nice at least. So the mascara, the one mascara, and the eyeshadows I really liked. I don't feel like the mist did anything. I feel like the primer kind of helped, but I'm not sure I did like enough since almost all of my face is off already. The lipstick I'm disappointed in. The other stuff I would love to like see, I mean, the uh, bronzer I didn't put on much. Uh, and it's also gone as far as I can see. There's a bit of the blush left, but not much, and a bit of a glow from the highlight. Actually, the highlight is still there. I didn't put much on, but it's uh, wow. But it's apparently still there. So, a bit of a roller coaster. I was really looking forward to like the bare minerals because I've heard some good stuff, and I know they made they, they make their what do you call them. All of their brand, their stuff, uh, in a really nice way. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like uh, one of the, thing, the things they brand with the most. Like they are called Bare Minerals, so they do think about how they make their products. But for me, it doesn't really matter if you think about the um, the environment and don't test on animals. And well, of course it matters, but. <laughs> Uh, like or if it's allergy certified or what it is, it does matter, but if nothing works Then I don't really care like you can have all these certificates you want I don't know how many they have but if it's not working for me, then it doesn't really matter But the mascara I'm pretty happy about so that's something and the eyeshadow And I will test some of the other stuff out too just to see how they work, but um, right now I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty let down actually, so I hope I'll find something else from them I like because some of the stuff were like really nice and the packaging was nice and everything looked uh, pretty good, felt okay too, even though the swatches were a bit rough to do, but uh, overall I, I wanted to like it, I really really wanted to love it, but it has been some ups and some downs, so I will I'll see if I can find anything else of them that I like, or else I'll just have to find some other alternatives. Yes. Well, um, that's all for today, unfortunately. And I would love to hear if there are any makeup or skincare products from Bare Minerals that you just love, that you would love me to try, then I would absolutely be delighted to, to do so. And uh, besides that, I guess that's all for today, so I hope you all have a happy life, one day at a time.